Are you guys? Today we're gonna go through part two of four of where can I work as an informatics specialist? Hi you guys, this is Jen from Informatics Life where I give you real world informatics content as well as about healthcare technology and leadership. This is a part two of four of the series that I'm doing about where can you work as an informatics specialist. A lot of you guys are coming out here, y'all like, I have no idea where I can work, I have an idea but I'm gonna give you real world tips. Make sure you watch the entire series so you know every single opportunity that is out there for you. All right? <laughs> so you're probably wondering who I am. I'm Jen. I've been an informatic nurse specialist for about eight years now. I am a senior manager of a nursing informatics department. So I've been around the field, especially because technology changes. It's not like it's the same thing. Y'all, we change a lot. We have to be game changers. So the lots have changed, lots have changed within eight years. And I am just so happy to share with you all the opportunities that are out there for you guys. All right, so let's get down to part two of four. What I'm gonna talk to you about today is probably somewhere I would have liked to work as an informatics specialist probably the only other place. I don't think I would have liked to do the build. You know, let me pause. That is the cool thing about informatics. Whether you're a health informatics specialist or a nursing informatics specialist, we have so many options out there. Of course, there's, with options comes, you know, you have to make sure you can find your fit, your niche, because not everybody is gonna fit in a certain area you know some people who don't like to just do build all day want to be out there rounding so you just got to do you find what position you love and retire retire early fire <laughs> <laughs> these positions i'm talking about i think i would have liked them because i love transformation i absolutely love to see people go from like current state to future state, especially if it means this future state is like straight up better than what the current state is. I love that. And I, and I do a lot of this in my current job too, I should say. Well, one of them, I'll tell you which one. But I would just say like, I love transformation. Uh, I am a success coach too. <laughs> Um, my other YouTube channel, Epic Empower People, Empower Change, we, we focus on financial coaching. We teach people that kind of stuff as well as plant-based healthy living. So I do a lot of transformation for people's lives because we do success coaching in the midst of all of that. So check out my website if you're interested in knowing a little bit more about me. Now, aside from this channel, I have another channel as well as we run a business. I work corporate, but after I get off corporate, I go to work in my other job and on the weekends too. Let's get down to going into these different positions or different departments, excuse me, different departments where an informatics specialist can work. Remember, health or nursing, you could work, potentially work in these, these departments. Project management. Yes, I actually love project management. I do that a lot as a senior manager now in informatics. <laughs> Lots of project management, or oversee a lot of project management as well. These departments really may be connected to organizational change management, process architect, and then project management. Sometimes you can find an umbrella department that all of these sub, I guess, sub positions can work in, if that makes sense. But, Informatics specialists can work in those. Now, we go through a whole project management piece in our coursework, so you will learn the different stages of project management. And that's what these departments specialize in. So you have project management where they could or have oversight, maybe your department, maybe your organization is changing out all pumps, or maybe they're initiating um, med scanning or something of the sort. These project management, 
I'm not gonna go too much <laughs> into, that's gonna have to be a whole different video series, really going in depth with each type of position. But for the just most part for this video series, just know you can look for a department. It might be entitled project management department. And uh, you could find opportunities for you there. Now you could find some that we were like, oh, we require you to have this cert or that cert. Just go ahead and get the cert. Make yourself more valuable. I told you, watch that. Please go watch that video about the salary series, the interview and resume series. I give you so many tips on how to build that resume. If project management is something you're like, I love informatics, but I like the arm of project management, go and like boost up that resume. Get, get, trust me, do what you can do to make sure your project management skills shine on your resume when you're trying to get a job in that type of department. So that's one of them, process architect. Now you probably like, what is a process architect? A process architect are people who really focus, it's a group, it's, it could be a department, could be a department, and again, you could work as an informatics specialist where they really just focus on a future state, oh, sorry, present, current state and future state. So they really just compare the difference, they do a lot of data collection on, okay, so, what do you do now? And I mean, what, whatever the device or the uh, implementation, whatever you're implementing, they really have to go in depth and details about what exactly uh, is current state that's gonna be impacted by this device or technology change. So then they'll go into future state about what this new implementation thing will do to the current state. So that's a department you could work at. If you're really into like current state, future state and being involved with that type of change, that might be for you. That's a department that you might find out there. So look for that. Another one that is, I feel like P project management, PM, process architect, PA, and organizational management, change management. I feel like those are all like in the same bucket. Organizational change management is another, I think there's a degree out there for that but an informatic specialist could work in that department. All right, you may not have known that, but now you do. So organizational change management, to just give y'all a nutshell, they pretty much will make sure all departments down to the floor nurse is engaged with the change that's coming. <laughs> They really focus on what questions do you have? This is coming. What questions do you have? What can I do to make sure you understand this change that's coming? Making sure that people are engaged with the change. Like it's coming, you need to know it's coming, be ready. New, do Take your, your, CB, your, your computer-based learning, do everything you need to do to be ready. So they really hone in on that change management to make sure people are ready. So if that's something you like to do, that's an apartment that you can work in. Oh my gosh, I, again, I work for such a large organization. So we have so many arms that you can work in <laughs> in informatics. I talked about those three. Now, one more that I'm gonna loop into this, this part of the series, two or four, and that is process <laughs> improvement <laughs> department. <laughs> I bet you're like, what? There's another one? Yes, there is another one that everybody specialists can work in. Believe it or not. Process improvement, uh, that could impact beyond nursing, beyond physicians. That could just be for like our your environmental services. That could be for like your uh, transportation department where they're just trying to fix a problem where they're just trying to fix a process. Maybe this process is not working correctly and they need to some type of way make it better. And I, I, I can't even like really hone in because it can be so many different things that could be impactful, impacted by it. But you know, it's super important to just understand that process improvement departments, uh, they could hire you as an informatics specialist and you'll be working with all different types of departments in the hospital to improve whatever that process is. Does not mean you need to know the process, 
before you, you know, embark upon helping them because you'll learn the process. They're going to tell you what the problem is and there's strategies and there's all this kind of tools that they use to improve the process. So again, process improvement department is another one that you could work in as an informatics specialist. Now you, okay, how do I search for that? Type in process improvement. That again, that's not something typical an informatics specialist could work in, but it could open the door for you to get into project management, to get into process architecture, to get into organizational change management. It, it can open the door for a lot of different areas for you. But if that's something that you're interested in, for sure, go for it. I think I'm gonna end with those four departments because um, I wanna give you time to research on your own Find out from your hospital or your company you work for, do they have a process improvement department? And like, if you're not in the hospital and you work for some type of company, all this stuff I'm telling you, if you think that your organization or your company could definitely utilize something like this, yo, why don't you take the opportunity to sell the opportunity to them to say, hey, I want to jump in and do project management because I see this happening and I want to be involved with helping the, you know, your company change. And I have my health informatics degree. I have my nursing informatics degree. And I just want to be a part of implementing something new that's going to benefit the company. So you could potentially just start something like this on your own and rock at it, be boss at it and build your own department for your company. I'm not joking. Be the difference. Go make that change. Start your own department if you see a need and the need is not being fulfilled. <laughs> so so um, my company's been around for uh, like literally centuries. <laughs> like one century, I know. It's been around for a century. So they have built a lot of different departments that I know a lot of companies could use to improve themselves. Please check out the rest of the series. Part one of four if you haven't. Uh, if you have, make sure you watch part three or four when it's coming and then part four for when it's coming and be empowered to the knowledge that you can carry when you're going out into the field. I hope this content was helpful for you. This is Jen Lewis, nurse informatics specialist signing off. See you later.